Hi students and welcome back to computer practice with Mr. H and today we're going to do H lookups and V lookups. Again this question paper is specifically or this video is specifically actually for N6 computer practice but if you're N5 you can also look at this one. Alright so what we're going to do is we're going to do question 11 that comes from the question paper of um, 2020. So this one. 9 September 2020 and we're going to specifically look at question 11. Alright, so question 11a says, 11 but I'm just focusing on the formula section, section 7, question 7a. Assign the name teams to the reference table A19 and B27. Now before I jump into the formula, I just need to explain something. First of all, we have our spreadsheet, but then they also give you two different tables all right and whenever you see a document and it has two extra tables attached to it you should immediately realize that i'm going to be asked h lookups and i'm going to be asked v lookups now depending on which table they are referring you to will depend on which one h or v are you going to have to use now it all depends on where the headings are. In this particular table, the headings are on top of the table. So this means we read this table from the top down. So this table is a vertical table. It's standing upright. All right. So whenever we are referred to this particular table, we should expect to use a V lookup. V lookup stands for vertical or the V part stands for vertical. So it's a vertical lookup. We have to look up something in this table. We have to look for an answer in this table by using a V lookup formula or function. Over here, the headings are on the side. So we read this table basically from left to right in a horizontal manner. So whenever we are referred to this table, it is an H lookup. H stands for horizontal. So horizontal lookup or H lookup that we are going to use. So if you click on formulas, for example, and we select lookup in our function library and we look on lookup, we will see there's something called a, um, a H lookup. And then there's something that's also called a V lookup. If you can't see it in your options, you can click on insert functions and you can just search for it. VLOOKUP for example, and it will find a VLOOKUP for you. The same, the same applies for, for HLOOKUP. You can just search for it if you can't see it. HLOOKUP in your function argument box is an HLOOKUP. All right. And it will give you a, a function argument box. But before we get there, Let's go and read our question. Assign the name teams to the reference table A19 to B25. All right. First of all, let's go back to our spreadsheet. And they specify that we need to go to a table, which is in A19 to B25. And we need to give this table a name. Over here in our name box, you're going to type in the word team and you're going to press in sorry it's not team it's teams teams all right and you're going to give it a name now i made a mistake now so i can fix that mistake in my name manager so if you click on formulas and you click go to your defined name um, group and you click on name manager you will be able to actually um, edit delete um, names that you gave in this case I I made a mistake with team so I'm gonna delete team because it should have actually been teams all right so but if I made a misspelling mistake I could have also just edited it and, and, and fixed the mistake there so if you make any mistakes when you name your table just go to formulas name manager and go and fix the problem there all right, so I gave this table a name and there it's displayed teams. All right, 
Now let's make, let me go back to my question, the rest of my question. So I assigned the name. So next is use a reference table. So use this reference table and the appropriate function. So they're talking about, remember, they are referring us. They have referred us to that specific table. What is this table? To this table. They said, go and give it a name and we're going to work with this table. And the headings are on top. So that implies it's a vertical lookup that we have to go and do all right appropriate function to calculate and display the captain column based on the team column based on based on that is our 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 determining factor so we need to go and basically go and display we have to look up what captain belongs to what team all right they're looking they don't know over here they want to know wh what captain belongs to what team and we have to use this table will give us the answer we have a captain section and we have a team section all right so we want to know what captain belongs to what team but that answer needs to be displayed here all right so you put your cursor in the correct cell you're going to go to formulas you're going to do a lookup and because they referred us to a vertical table, we know that what we are looking for is a VLOOKUP. Alright, so a VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP will give you a function argument box. And it's going to ask you for four things. But if you look closely, you will see that the first one, the second one and the third one is in bold so those are the most important ones the last one is actually not important we're not even going to do anything with that we're just going to focus on the parts that are bold all right so what are they asking us lookup value is always what is it based on all right remember the question said based on the team all right so it's always what is it based on the table array is what table are you using and the column index number is in what column of the table will give you the answer. Remember, we're looking for the captains. All right. So lookup value, as I said, what is it based on? It's based on the teams. What table are you using? I'm using the teams table. Remember, you gave your table a name. But if you didn't give your table a name, you can just go and select your table. All right. What column in that table that you've just specified will give you the answer? Here you have the table. There's two columns. There's a team column, a captain column. Team is in the first column. Captain is in the second column. So my answer is in the second column that I'm looking for. So you just type in the, the number two there. All right. And then you click O. OK. And it will copy the formula if it one needs to be copied. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Um, yeah, just copy the formula if it needs to be copied. All right. So there's your answer. So it gave you that answer. You can obviously re rewind this video and just go and look at it again. All right. Next question, which is B. Calculate the days stayed of each team by using the dates keyed in cell D4. Use absolute values. All right. So they're specifically talking about D4. So there's D4. And we need to go and calculate the day state. Now, first of all, let's look at what are we actually looking at here. We are looking at the 2019 World Cup statistics. So these are all rugby teams. All right. Rugby teams, Australia, England, New Zealand, Scotland, South Africa, Wales. And we need to determine when. Okay. So all of them left on the 4th of November. So the tournament was over on the 4th of November. But they didn't arrive on the same date though. So this one arrived, this team arrived on the 27th of August. This one arrived on the 15th, 20th. So we actually stayed. To do that, we're going to just do the following. All right. We're going to take our departure date, which is our latest date. And we're going to minus it with our arrival date. But please take note, there's only one departure date, but there are many arrival dates whenever there's only one of something we always have to use an absolute reference 
dollar signs. All right. So in other words, it's equals departure date. And because there's only one of it, we have to use our dollar signs F4, our absolute values, our absolute um, referencing. So F4, okay, insert your dollar signs by using F4 on your keyboard minus the arrival date and press enter. All right, and then you copy the formula. If you did not use absolute values, this is what's going to happen. All right, put your cursor in the correct cell equals departure date minus arrival date and if you don't insert your absolute values your dollar signs you're going to get an answer but as soon as you copy the formula you're going to get hash value issues so if you in the exam situation you see that you have hash values that's because you didn't insert your absolute values not the end of the world just go just delete what you have click in the cell start with equals click on your departure date if there's only one of it Remember, add your absolute cell referencing minus your arrival date and then press enter. Okay, copy your formula and everything should be hunky-dory. Now, next question. C. Calculate weeks stayed by using days stayed. Alright. So, we need to use our, we need to calculate our weeks stayed by using our days stayed. In other words, we know they stayed 69 days, but how many weeks is that actually? Students, how many days are in a week? There are seven days in a week. So it's equals days stayed minus seven. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not minus, divide seven. All right, so it's your days stayed divided by seven because there are seven days in a week. And that would give you your answer. You copy your formula, um, but also students, in an exam situation, your answer might look something like, sorry, might look something like, like that. All right, because the question says, display the answer with one decimal. So if you have a rounded number, just use, just click on home and here under or above number, the launcher, use the increase or the decrease of decimal options obviously increase makes your um, adds decimals and decrease takes them away so in this case it was just one decimal so you just click once or increase once so you can get your decimal alternatively go into number um, group launcher and under under the number option select number and then here you also can change the decimal places to whatever the amount should be all right next question which is d assign the name points to the reference table d15 to j17 all right so this time around d d15 to j17 so they're talking about this table over here and the headings are on the side so we are going to have to use a H lookup or horizontal lookup but first we need to give this table a name so in the name box we're going to assign the name points to this table we're going to press enter it's done we can always just double check in our formula go to formulas click on our name manager to go and see if it's there yes it's there it's very much alive close up name manager we're good we've given it a name so now we can go to our place so we can go and work out the answer. Now use this reference table and the appropriate function and we know that it's going to be an HLOOKUP to calculate and display the team column base, based, based on the player column. Alright, so let's see. They want to determine what player belongs to what team. Remember they said based on player. Alright, cool. So now we go to our formulas. We're going to click on lookup. We're going to click on a H lookup. We're going to find H lookup. It's not there. We can also go to insert function. H lookup. Okay, what is my lookup value? It's always what is it? Based on. So it's based on my players. All right, what table are you using? I'm going to use the points table. What row in what 
row in the points table. All right, before I continue, it's giving me a hash name issue. It tells me that your points name that you gave this table is a problem. All right, I'm going to cancel quickly and I'm just going to go and check out in my name manager what's going on here. Why does it say there's an issue? All right, the name is, look there, I made a spelling mistake. P o n t s so i missed the i so that's not the end of the world i can just edit it all right and i can just add the i all right and i can click ok should solve the problem now it's inserted there's clearly an i so i can close this now and now i'm gonna go back to my cell i'm gonna click on look up i'm gonna go to by the way if you already used a formula you can just click on a recently used and it will give you all the formulas that you have recently used and there is HLOOKUP, all right? So lookup value, lookup value, what is my question based on? It's based on the, t the player. All right, what table are you using? I'm gonna use the points table, all right? And I'm not getting a, a error message. Okay, what row in your table what row in your table will give you your answer that you are looking for remember i'm looking for the team so team is in my second row the answer will i find i will find in the second row of that table so that's row number two and my range lookup i don't have to fill in anything in there so i'm just going to click on ok and it will give me my answer again if you need to just copy your your formula down so there's my answer all right cool next question which is um, E, use the reference table points and the appropriate function to calculate and display the total points that were scored, the column based on the player. Same thing, just a different answer that they're looking for. All right, total points scored, we wanna know. Remember, what is it based on? It's based on my player. So in other words, what player scored the most points and here's a row number three gives me that answer so i put my curse my my yeah my curse in the greek cell i'm gonna go to i'm actually gonna use recently used i know i used the h lookup last so that's easier to find what is my lookup value based on it's based on the players what up okay what table are you using i'm using the points table spell it correctly points table what row in the points table will give you an answer? The third row. And then you click OK. And you copy your formula down. Students, that is HLOOKUPS and VLOOKUPS in a nutshell. Alright, so thank you for watching. And join me in the next videos where I will be discussing payment calculations.